for bringing him back into the team. Without being left out, he is back in the team with a bang. <coughs> well, we talked about this in the first game, Sam. Just really couldn't tell what Switzerland was doing from set pieces. Is it Zonal? Is it Mamma? <coughs> tu peux m'en donner une, s'il te plaît? Je viens d'avoir fisc au téléphone. L'accord a été résilié. Quoi Il n'a pas été d'accord avec notre terme, il a refusé, du coup je l'ai envoyé chier. Non mais t'es malade ou quoi Tu te rends pas compte de ce qu'il va nous mais faire Mais attends toi Fils peut pas nous atteindre ici, on est à des kilomètres mais peu importe où il est, il va nous tuer Oh, oh écoute euh... It's finished. Perfect. Get on the first plane back. He has a new job for you. Please proceed immediately to boarding and gate A03. Lester. You got a job for me, boss. It's interesting, isn't it? How some of the vigilantes today are able to keep up with the likes of Thor and Captain America. I suppose, yeah. Except now, I'm thinking there is no way a man could achieve reflexes like that. I believe that some of these vigilantes possess powers much more subtle. I'm assuming this guy is my next target. Indeed, but he's more than a guy, Lester. I've been a fool to underestimate him all of this time. I've had some of my men try to keep up surveillance and spy on him over the past week or so, but none of them have been able to get within a mile of him without him finding them. I'm not sure whether it's supersonic hearing or another damn pair of eyes on the back of his head, but he has something. So what? You want me to try and take him out? Yes. I'm putting my best on this job. And that's you, Lester. I can spare men, weapons, and whatever other accommodations you need to exterminate him. He's been a thorn in my side for far too long. I have faith in you, Lester. Wesley will fill you in. Walk with me. This is everything we have on him so far. It's not much. When does he want him taken out? As soon as you're ready. We'll have men ready to dispatch at your command. Well, tell them to start suiting up. With pleasure. Get ready as soon as possible. Have there been any new signs of Osborne other than his breakouts? Wait, we have one? Daredevil. Hold on, I know this one, I know this one. Come on, Matt. <laughs> it's Jared. Your first kiss's name was Jared. Woo, took you long enough. That was a close one, Maddie. Watch yourself, Nelson. It's your turn. Okay, okay. Name the first time you met your significant other. Oh, this one's an easy one. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. It was when, <laughs> oh gosh. It was when I got that mustard stain on my pants. So I tried washing it out in the office bathroom, but I just ended up soaking my own pants. And when I walked by your desk, you asked, Mr. Nelson, did you have an accident? <laughs> you thought I peed my pants. <laughs> Wait, what? Foggy, that never happened. Oh, y yes it did. Uh, Foggy, I think that was our old secretary, Karen Page. Oh, shoot. That's right. The first time we met was when you interviewed me. You hired me on the spot. Oh, yes. I remember that, honey. You were fantastic. 
How could I forget? Well, all you secretaries sort of blend together, you know? <laughs> Excuse me? Why don't we move on? I'll go. What is something you know about your significant other that he or she doesn't want you to know? Well, this will be interesting. That's a good one. All right, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I don't think you're actually blind. <coughs> Wait, what? Honey, I- I've known Matt my whole life. I think I would know if he wasn't blind. Exactly. I just think there's more to Matt than we think. 